Hello, I'm Alex uh, from Amical Wikimedia. Amical Wikimedia it's, it's not a chapter, it's a thematic organization for representing and improving Catalan culture and Catalan content and Catalan wikis. And I'm here to talk a little bit about strategy. I'm here to talk about strategy, about not not only about what we do and how we do, but what we as a global uh, glam chapters, communities, or organizations deal between each other. So I just try to draft a, a small plan, which is uh, from zero to one, from one to five, and to five from five to n, as. Um, how we as a chapter, I'm sorry for this call. I think I hear it's also a good place. G1, 1, 5, 5, 2, N. Now it's better. I'm, I really suck at Rowan, so you will realize me in this session. Um, this is when we all started uh, because of you. Um, why <laughs> chapter were created, on why GLAM is or presentation card to the world. And this is small chapters, like from one to five glam collaborations, and how to clone from five to n. It's not about cloning, it's about not doing the things. And then I will talk about sustainability and scaling. Okay, that's all I want to talk about. How can one or do you know who is far from a chapter? Can you just quickly tell if GLAM was your first public thing? Yes, no? Yes. What was the question? GLAM projects were your first public outreach events in your country? Mm, sure. More or less. So. Okay. Yeah. My theory is a lot of people start, a lot of chapters use Glam Wiki projects as a business presentation card to the world, as a community. It's like, it's not that we want your content, or yes, but, it's like we want you to help us introduce you to the real world. As a, hey, I'm collaborating with the Reef Museum, I'm capable of managing things in real life, not only on Wiki. So, as a chapter, or as an organization, this is the, the first day, how we start, how we do things. Yes, we did an event. Yes, we did an editathon. It's okay. We all love it the first time. And then it gets the moment to leverage your own group. It's like, okay, I want to do some glam projects. It's like one library, one museum, national archive, one Wikimedian in residence. This is the, the thing I called um, the, in the Rocky area. You know the Rocky film? It's like you need to realize who is in your band. You, you won't have a full orchestra, never. It's probably, you know, Marta is good at playing the flute. You have a Martin Dammes, which is good at commons. You have these crazy guys who are good at Wikidata. But we don't play guitars. None of us, it's, it's a guitar player. So probably you can't do a punk band. It's like, you need to, uh, on the, uh, I'm sorry about the analogy. The problem of the chapters is like, we all want to be Germany, and we are not. And it's like, it's like you need to know who's in your band, both on, on the glam side and both on the, um, on the wiki side. And it's like, okay, this is my band, so we're all going to play a flute concert. And, <laughs> And this is, it, it makes, it's, yeah. it's obviously a joke, but it's the hardest part from, from, from a glam or from a chapter point of view. It's like, what can we do with our team? And it's not what can I do with my team, it's how can I serve my team to better play uh, the music they want. It's like, yes, it's not that you're an orchestral leader, but just like, yeah, take the flute, take the guitar, or whatever. And another thing on, on strategy, it's, uh, it's something I call Minecraft. <laughs> it's, it's you as an organization need to map your own group and also the external group. Like, create your own world. It's, uh, you won't be Germany, obviously, because we are not. But 
you need to plan where will you like to be in five years from now as a chapter. Well, I want to run, uh, collaborate with every single museum in my country. Quack. I want to collaborate <laughs> with, with uh, I want to have all the paintings. Quack. You don't have much on your side. It's like, but, but we have a flute. Okay, probably we can do with project flutes. And, and this is something really, really, really hard to leverage because we all want to be like the others normally, and the others are always better than us. Oh, and, oh it's, it's, it's music. But um, that's how uh, in strategy, we, we did a, a couple of years ago, we did a five years from now uh, meeting with the communities. Like, what would you like to do in, in, in five years? I would like to collaborate with every single museum, every single university, and everyone should be anything Wikipedia on their spare time in Catalonia. Wow. <laughs> yes, but how are you doing 2,000 workshops a month? Uh, I don't have time for that. So one of the things we did is ask to the community what kind of projects you want to lead. Not what kind of projects do you want to be done, which is not the same. Okay, I want to lead this, I want to lead that, I want to lead that, I want to create a punk band, uh, I want to do this. And um, to have before, on the planning part, um, we did one thing, uh, like users, volunteers from the community, not only from the Amical chapter or org, um, voted for that proposals. So this is the way how we draft our annual plans. It's just because the community itself already supports the plan before we actually do the ACE, FTC grants or whatever. So we know we will have the support from the community before actually even drafting the project. So um, that's more or less here. Then you have a small flute band and you want to clone yourself because there are many villages for playing flute concerts. But how you do that? You can't actually go to every single village to play your concert, so you need to clone yourself. So um, when I go to a, a glam to make a workshop, I always make a, a eye-breaking bad joke, like saying, I'm a traditional encyclopedia seller, but now it's digital, it's for free, and you are the ones who are going to write, actually writing. So you want me to buy this digital project, you, you are the one who is going to do it. It's, it's, it's silly, it's not even a joke, but uh, people understand that you can't, when you meet a, a glam partnership, um, I never promise you'll get your content online and you'll get a feature article. It's probably you want nothing. It's like, um, I'm just here for saving you today, and probably I won't, hear, I won't be here tomorrow because as Liam says, we have intellectual promiscuity. Tomorrow I will be in another museum or in another discovering new things, so it's up to you to get your content done and to get your community with you. So sorry about that. Um, how we go from five, N, from five to N? Doing self-sustainable projects and scaling existing projects. How we do this? Normally, it's when we plan the projects, we, also, uh, we always design them with a kick-off and go strategy. It's like, I can be your big brother for a week, for a month. I can teach you how to do it, but you will be the one doing it. If I tell you or promise you, you will have 50 Wikipedians, volunteers for you, you will have a huge bottleneck. And then it's like you can clone yourself and you have gotten compromised with plenty of plans and, and non enough Sundays for doing that. So we always do this. One of the other things we do, it's uh, here it's been told many times from the glam sector that it's hard to partnership with, uh, with, with Wikipedia because you're not actually in partnership with Wikipedia. You're just collaborating with it. Um, what we tell the glams is assume beta as a, a, by default. It's like it's, there's actually no project to be done. It's like we will keep going. And how we, sorry, I, I got lost now. <laughs> um, okay, how we scale things. Normally we offer the glams uh, like a menu of free, for easy to do things. Just like we don't teach them, probably we even mention Wikisource, Wikiquote, Wikidata. Uh, it's like when, if you do like a full Lacarte uh, presentation, 
they just like, okay, you're great, but that's impossible. <laughs> that's just like, <laughs> so then it's, it's normally we prefer like say, hey, we have pizza, we have pasta, and we have rice. What do you prefer? Pizza. It's okay. <laughs> and, and this is like, oh, and then the second day probably they ask for another thing. It's like, you got pasta. T someone told me about rice. But it's like, yeah. Uh, you you told me on the menu. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's these kind of things. And another thing we we do it. Uh, we or you or it's been told today separation between glams and wiki. Uh, since the first day the glam starts editing, we treat them as another Wikimedian. They are Wikimedians now. It's just like they have their own topic. Their own topic may be uh, that museum, that painter, that, but they are just another single Wikipedian that we as a chapter or organization we need to take care of. But just another one else. It's, they're not special, they're just like another Wikipedian that needs help, like we all need. And another thing for scaling, for it's like I want the same photo cam that my neighbor. So one thing we do is using social media for um, public thanking um, the clams while they are doing things like, oh, this small girl has created an article on that topic. Oh, then the neighbor clam is like, I want to do that again. And then it's, it's not us who tell them you should do that. It's them who want to do that because their neighbor is doing that. Yes. And um, another thing we do for scaling, it's, uh, we never promising it's kick off and low projects, is we never promise community. It's like, they, they, they actually book, bring me 50 Wikimedians for a <laughs> Cheddar Gut edit-thon, and probably uh, 200 more for a Butterfly edit-thon next day. It's like, you don't have this community, actually, and you can't book Wikipedians. So when, we, but people, I'm trying to do that. Um, what we do, it's um, promising, I will send you one volunteer, which will do a workshop, but you will use your community for doing a daily fund. If you don't have community, you don't have an edit fund. Because this way we prevent from burning our own community of editors, uh, and we make the project sustainable, because as we are promised, what do you call intellectual promiscuity? Uh, as, as we have this kind of, oh, a flower, oh, pizza. Um, you can, if, if, you, if you bring all these Wikimedians today, you know, and we start to do an editathon on flowers, we'll probably will run some content today, but tomorrow we'll, we'll be, we all on our own topics. And it's not good for the project at all, because the glam will be like, wow, so many people that day, and the next day, the Wild West all again. And this, the, if we do the other way around, it's like, you call your community and one, one of my volunteers will teach them how to edit Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Probably there are five, there are 10, there are 50, depends on the, com on the community. But a uh, slow radio of these people will keep on editing Wikipedia. And then you have A, a new editor, B, people <coughs> committed to that content. And C, if they don't have community, it's like, I'm sorry, Wikipedia is not your savior. If you don't have community, it's your problem. And, and they, are, they assume that, like, okay, we are a small town in Neverland, no one wants to edit Wikipedia here, I'm sorry. I could help you a little bit, but I won't save your life. <laughs> and just for a finish, I will just give some tips. And at least I want you to criticize everything I, I told. First, um, we told people Wiki is asymmetric. Wiki means asymmetric by default. It's like, uh, in some glams, if you have a good bass player, uh, you'll get wiki data. And in some, in the neighbor glams, if you don't have that bass player, you will get wiki codes, and it's okay. It depends on your community and the vo and the volunteer that is interested in that topic. And probably in a glam, they get 100 articles, and the other one gets one article a year. It's also okay. That's a good part. The best part of the wifi, it's like, of the wifi, <laughs> of the wiki, it's like relative commitment and, and you can afford your relationships at different levels. Um, another thing is uh, um, for making the glams interesting Wikimedia when they are not, it's uh, and making projects doable and scalable and sustainable, it's like add a wiki layer to the glams existing projects. It's don't start a whole new thing. It's like, if they have this butterflies exhibit, just do uh, one project on exhibit. 
or ask them to release text. And if they don't have community, ask for a content release. If they have community, ask for an edit form. It depends on their reality. But adding a wiki layer to existing programs, it's really useful for us because normally you get the director in and you get the press people in and you get everyone's in because they want that to be done because they want to, it's, it's their project. Uh, obviously tracking metrics and showing the numbers, it's, al it's always good to show up. And uh, another thing that probably you don't share with me or with Amical as an idea is like, we are really sensitive with the money thing, and we use money as a tool, uh, not as a goal, obviously. I've been here like two years ago or three years ago. Uh, we are three people from our chapter, and next year we want to become five people, and it's like, what, four, you know, have program. Oh, yeah, because there are all these things that need to be done. We, we assume money as a measure of failure. That, that means uh, we need to invest money where, where, where we don't have volunteers. And if that amount of money is not aligned with our tracks, a uh, uh, strategic plan, probably you are you're just wasting money. And it's easier to accept that you never have a um, good content donation because you don't have a developer in your community, <coughs> than investing some money in something that if the money is gone and the project is gone, that's not midterm sustainable. So I, I want you to, to criticize this, this statement later on. And as the, as the end, uh, the key for men is like, I'm happy when I'm not needed. I just copied for, from your first year as a, as a community liaison. Uh, or key, whenever we start a glam project, it's I won't be there here tomorrow. Just learn, listen today, because I won't be here tomorrow. I can email, but I won't be there. If you don't have a community, if you don't have a volunteer, you won't have a project. And they understand. And now I want you to criticize everything I say. Please. <laughs> <laughs>